Welcome to my book and video, Photon Yes, Religion No. In this book, I will be describing ideas that may surprise and excite you. Because of the human need for truth, I think that this book and these ideas will be remembered and enjoyed by humans for hundreds of planet Neptune years to come. Humans use sounds and images to name objects in the universe. Some words humans make apply to objects nobody sees in the universe. Words like person, pot, and galaxy describe real objects made in, of matter in the universe. Other words like spirit, heaven, and ghost apply to objects that do not exist in the universe. While words like ghost cause a human to remember an image of a human or a floating white sheet, no ghosts or monsters have ever been included in population counts. Perhaps more of a surprise to most people is that no god has ever been seen in this universe. No god, devil, santa, witches, heaven, hell, angels, demons, ghosts, spirits, soul, or monsters have ever been seen, heard, touched, smelled, or tasted. With all these things that do not exist and have never been seen in the universe, what things do exist and can be seen? Matter and space can be seen in the universe. Neutrinos, photons, atoms, molecules, trees, planets, stars, galaxies, every form of matter can be seen in this beautiful universe. Most humans agree that matter exists and that space is a real thing. If humans decide to use language, then I think the best use of language is to label the universe matter and space. Using sounds and images to describe the universe, humans can agree that photons, atoms, molecules, stars, comets, and humans do exist and are made of matter and space. Language will make moving life to other stars more easy. I think that a photon is matter. Even the most popular humans in science think that a photon is not matter. The word light or radiation is used instead of the word photon. I think a photon moves 4.71 exponential 8 meters every second in following a sine curve, not 2.99 exponential 8 meters per second. Humans should try to describe the universe in more accurate words. I think that all particles are pieces of matter and that a basic unit of matter, possibly photon, is the root of all matter and does occupy space. I think that photons already exist in the universe and are not made at the time of, for example, a fission explosion. The photons that I think are part of all matter can be seen in a spark or fire. In a fire, photons move from the piece of matter that is burning to your eye and other places where there is no human eye. This release of photons makes the burned piece of matter less in size. I want to stop humans that cause damage as one of the most valued ideas. Violence is more bad than drug use is. I am against locking humans in jail for owning or using drugs or for being new. I am against locking humans in hospitals. I am against locking humans in jails for having sex for money. I support science and speak out against religion. No human should be locked in a jail or hospital for sounds made that cause no damage. I speak out against marriage and support touch and sex with consent. I think that all humans are bisexual humans and same gender touching should be promoted. I support keeping life alive with clean water and bread and all minimum basic needs of every living object. I am for democracy for all of life with constant vote on all laws and decisions by all living humans. I want variety in gender, race, shape, size, and age. I ask for one human, one vote. I ask that humans use a one sound for one letter phonetic alphabet for all languages. I am for sharing of all images, sounds, and data. I am against copyrights, patents, and trademarks. A machine more than 20 years old can see and hear the thoughts of any brain, a machine most humans have never seen. I support moving life to orbit and other moons and planets. I am for using the photons from uranium fission to send ships to other stars like Project Orion. In this book, I will be describing what exists and does not exist common errors humans make, and other ideas I have thought of in the time I have been alive.